Yo, yo, yo! You're the boy who lived, Harry! Let's go! We are starting a brand new game tonight with Hogwarts Legacy! Who's ready to do this thing? Let's go, baby! We are back! And we're happy to be here, but first, before we get into it, we gotta check out that trophy guy, man. It doesn't look like it's gonna be too difficult. Pretty straightforward. 3 out of 10 difficulty. One playthrough required for 50 hours. Um, a couple buggy trophies, which is not very promising. But hey, you know what? We'll get through it. We will make it. I'm not really expecting too much of a challenge here. What is going on with this thing? But anyway, I don't know why it's not moving. Computer's frozen. I literally just restarted it. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Anyway, let's get back to it. Let's play some of this game oh my god my computer's going so slow what is happening all right let's get into this thing what's going on imp what's going on nova how we doing how we doing we ready to start a new game let's go let's go yeah uh imp the intro music i'm really hoping that doesn't uh get me copyrighted if it does i'll just reader off no Press yeah we are turning that off not having that not having that i'm doing good nova how we doing how you doing man let's see that's off oh what is happening oh it's one of these okay uh that's off camera shake i have no clue good evening heaven or hell how we doing how we doing oh colorblind mode oh my goodness this is right up my alley you know what we're gonna turn it we're gonna leave it on normal for now toggle aim mode on off and eh. Spell cast. You know what? I think we're going to leave most of the stuff like it is, and then we'll figure it out as we go. Text size. Is there one for subtitles? I got to have subtitles. Arachnophobia. Yo, that's hilarious. <laughs> it says swap out spider enemies with less frightening variants. That's hilarious. Yo, that's funny. All right, let's go ahead and just get to it. Uh, fidelity to performance. Uh, I think I'd rather have performance. Let's go. And, uh, hey, Imp, if you're still here, please correct me if I'm wrong here, because I am not a wizard when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> hey, get ready for the puns, y'all. It's, it's, it's going to be crazy. All right, not even going to have to read this. I already know that I agree to that. They said, sell me your soul. I said, bet. Bet. Uh, claim a reward, skip sign in. Don't have that. Oh, that's right. I do have the little download. Merlin's beard. All right, so, uh... Reason for the, the lack of streams the past couple days. I wanted to start this game, but I wanted to watch the movies again. <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. How much stuff do I have? My goodness. But I went and watched all eight movies over the past three days. <laughs> I've been grinding, as you can tell. <laughs> but is this the new Harry Potter game? Uh, it's, it came out in 2023, so uh, I guess you can call it still somewhat new. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I think we're good on all this. Let's... uh. Let's just get to it. Hogwarts Witchcraft School, oh wait, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow prof yeah, Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term, feast, and sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley. Hey, let's go. My question, uh, Amph, was should I go for performance mode or fidelity mode? I went I went for performance, so I hope I did the right thing. Hope so. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh-oh, we got a character creator. All right. How what are we feeling? What are we feeling? Are we going to go random? Can we go can we even do random? Oh my goodness, this may take me a while. I'm super picky. All right. We got to create fried cheesy and fried cheesy's going to Hogwarts. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? I'm thinking this right here. Actually, you know what? Let's go with this one right here. And then we can, like, customize as we please. Let's see. Uh, does it really even... Here. How how pale can you make him? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Heaven or Hell had to take a break from the Arkham City grind. Struggled on campaign with Robin for an hour. When I was done, I couldn't bring myself to do another. <laughs> hey, well, glad you finally, uh... 
I found yourself a, a, a time for a break, heaven or hell. You definitely need it. At least you got it done, though. 100%. All right, we're going to go, like, right here. Kind of like where it was. Like, right there. And then, let's see. Oh, my gosh. What do we do? Okay. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Oopsie daisy. All right. Let's, uh, let's fix this to where it was. Let's go right there. Let's see. Glasses or no glasses? I think we got to go glasses, right? We got to embrace the Pada. <laughs> Performance, obviously, got to have those 60 frames. Awesome. I'm learning. I'm learning. All right. Should we go with the, those glasses? Should we go with these glasses or the Potter glasses? Or, you know what? Let's go no glasses. You know, we used an Oculus Repair or whatever it was. All right. Let's see. Hair color. Oh, my goodness. Bruv. We got so many options. <laughs> Yo, that's me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, but for real, though? <laughs> Oh, bro. Yo, we can totally be Karen right now. Karen Cheesy. Oh, please. All right, for real, though. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Hey, yo. <laughs> yo, this, this, we have too many options. Yo, a man bun? Are we rocking a man bun? Yo, let me do my real hair. Oh, my shit. That's not even close. That looks like damn, uh, Haytham Kenway. What the hell? Oh, some dreads. Oh, yo, I kind of dig that shit right there. He <laughs> yo some of these some of these cuts, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. Should we do it? Should I actually do this? <laughs> yo, the possibilities, the possibilities. Let's go with the basic ass bit. No, I gotta I gotta stand out from the rest, you know. I gotta let's see. There's not like a there's not a flow for a dude. You know, that may be the best one right here. I may go with this one. Let's see. I mean, if they had, like, one that was just a little bit longer than this right here, I'd go with that. I want to represent my real life, right? <laughs> That's honestly closer to what my hair looks like right there. It just looks awful. Nah, I'm not feeling any of these long styles. These long styles were specifically... He looks like a dude. Or, I mean, he looks like a chick. <laughs> dude looks like a lady. Alright, you know what? I think we're going to go with uh, with that one we were, we were sitting on right here. Alright! Uh, hair color. This is lighter, okay. Oh my, dude, we have so many options. Hey, yo, hold on now. Did I see gray somewhere in here? Hold up. <laughs> hey, it's gonna take me a sec. This is gonna take me a sec. We're gonna, we're gonna spend some time here. This is gonna be, we're gonna get to know our friend here. You know what, should I embrace, let's see. Do we have a super blonde? Embrace the cheese. Uh, I feel like that's, that's more, uh, that's more cheesy than anything. Let's see. Ooh, that white. I don't know about that. Let's see. I feel like black kind of fits, though. Let's see. Let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. Oh, nope. Did the wrong thing. All right, that one right there. What else we got? Complexion. Okay, freckles and moles. Do you want to go absolutely nuts with the freckles and moles? So, this is just complexion. Okay. Fair skin? What about freckles and moles? We can do like a couple here and there. Yeah, I feel like the face kind of looks weird for the hair. Maybe I need to change that up a little bit. Let's see. What about that right there? And then I don't know. This I'm not really digging this face anymore. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so indecisive. Nah, maybe it does fit. Maybe it does. We'll uh, we'll stick to it. Yo, games that get just give you like like a lot of freedom with this. I mean, I just love it. All right, we we get a nasty scar. We get a nice Wolverine scar across the face. I feel like we need some uh, some battle scars, you know. But I mean, like we're like we haven't even been at Hogwarts. What uh what, what's our excuse? Let's see. Yeah, get it on your PS4, Nova. Play it. Play it. Play it along with me, man. Oh, that's a nasty scar. You know what? Let's do that one scar. Actually, across the nose. You know what? We going fresh face. We going fresh face in this bit. We a brand new student. We gotta act like it. All right. I feel like that's uh that's gonna be it right there. Complexion's good. All right. Let's see. Eye color. We trying to be some candy. Oh, the blue eyes. Gotta do it. Gotta do the blue. All right. Eyebrow color. Um. Gotta go. That looks weird. <laughs> I feel like the, the the darker color eyebrows work a little bit better here. Let's do that. Brow shape. I mean, like, I felt like what I had was working just fine. I don't even know. I, I think I messed up. All right. 
Let's just see. Let's just get one that we that feels right. Uh, too mad. Nah, 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 nah. I like I like this one. No, I don't like that one. Which one was it? I thought I had one. A unibrow, <laughs> yo. And then no eyebrows at all. Yo, I kind of like that. Hold up now. Mmm. I just want generic ass eyebrows. Come on. Yo, the first one I had, I should not have changed it. I can I don't know which one it was. You know, when you really think about it, eyebrows are weird, man. <laughs> All right. Is that it? That it? Or that? Let's stick with that. That looks normal. That looks pretty normal. All right. Now, let's see. Voice one. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Yes, I could. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Oh, A no, few no, cobwebs no. and some dust. That was quite something. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. That was <laughs> All right. quite something. Slight difficulty? Yo, we gotta go with story, bro. Alright! Name your character! Oh my goodness. He said, damn, they don't have the signature Thunderbolt as a scar? I know, right? Heaven or hell? They should. They definitely should. What do we think, though? What do we think about our boy right here? What do I, You know what? Fry Cheesy. Let me think. We gotta, we gotta embrace. How about uh, Fred? Fred, last name, Chester. Fred Chester, yeah! Fried Cheesy is Fred Chester. Welcome to Hogwarts, Fred Chester. Always go with the scar on the eyebrows since I have one like it. Hey, yo, is that from uh, your fighting? I bet that's from your fighting, isn't it, Imp? Hey, nice, what you have to eat tonight? Nova, let's go, let's go. Have I seen the new trailer for the uh, Captain America Black Panther game? Hope we see some gameplay late 2025, but overall, the trailer had you pumped. Yo, so, uh, oh, I'm glad you said something, Imp. But yeah, I did see that. Heaven or Hell, it looks actually pretty cool. The uh, the trailer they released was actually super cinematic, and it made it look really good. I'm hoping they don't trick us, but we'll see. Hey, hey, hey. you know, so far, looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, don't, appreciate the tip. Uh, don't go with story, go with easy. Some elements are disabled, so let's go. Uh, game is super easy, even on hard anyway. Yeah, it was an axe. Of course it was an axe. Not surprised. All right. We're a wizard. You're a wizard, Fred Jester. We ready? We ready? Let's go. Oh, I'm so excited. Greetings, Fred. Nice to have you here in Hogsmeade. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Who that? Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful Ooh. idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Well, he sounds funny with that deep pitch. Into the castle. Not at all, sir. It would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Pile of rocks, hey. Don't spoil the end of the movie. <laughs> Speaking of the sorting ceremony, which house which house are we thinking I should go into, huh? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? I'm open for suggestions. Should I be a basic beat and go with uh, Gryffindor? Gryffindor! Made lasagna and spaghetti and meatballs next to it? Nice, Nova, that sounds amazing. Warner Brother Games! Sorry, Warner Bros. Games! Yeah, this looks pretty good so far. We'll see how it, uh... See how it pans out. Avalanche! What we put the hat suggests? Alright, alright! Potter Games Wizarding World. Give me that title screen. Give me that nice title screen. Not yet. Oh, 
We gotta hold out. They're teasing us. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. Yo, my name's Fred Chester. Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. He said, Ah, oh, shucks, Mr. you. He's prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? It's a goblin. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe oh my he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Who knows something? Before I could respond, I received this it was the last thing she sent me Eleazar. it came to me via her owl but with no correspondence i can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe presumably from ranrock i cannot open it whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed it looks like goblin metal that symbol what's that glow I don't see a glow. How am I the most aware person Nor here? do I. I haven't even made it to Hogwarts yet, and I'm already a better wizard than they are. Merlin's beard. How did you- Wait! We did- What? Oh, shit! Something tells me that's not good. I was a damn McDonald's. Oh my god! He looks so sad. He's scared. You just now noticed, dude? Yeah. <laughs> What's the momentum? I'm trying to get down for it! Trophy support key! Give me your hand. Damn, Accio and an apparate just like that? Yo! Alright, I, I respect you now, Professor Fig. Squirrel! Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps That's a bit. Me. No, I'm Fred. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. All right, here we go, gameplay. We press down on the D-pad. Look at us. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. Oh, no, George. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair. A typical dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. Oh. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why? All right, here we go. Here we go, baby. <laughs> hey, by the way, heaven or hell, I love it, man. You gotta have that cheesy garlic bread. Yes, sir. Into the light, the boy who died. 
You gotta rewatch the movies, not gonna lie. I only seen the first three growing up. Hey, go check them out. Hey, I would definitely check them out before I play this game, though. Before you play this game. Well, well, I well. That port he take us. Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. I mean, this dude's talking about George being dead. Did we ever confirm the body? Quest started the path to Hogwarts. Step. Let's go. Mind my stuff. Uh, I think I will. Ye ye won't let me. Won't let me. A good question. Miriam spent years All searching right. for. Sorry. Sorry. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Where we at? Where we at? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Sensitivity. Oh my goodness. Sensitivity's gotta go up. Uh, let's see. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Where's it at? Oh my goodness. Okay. Wrong place. Camera sensitivity going up. Let's just do that right there. It's a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Oh my god. Oh my god. I inverted the shit. I inverted it. I inverted it. How the hell did I do that? Ha. Huh? No. <laughs> Alright, much better. Here we go. Jump and climb. Let's go, baby. What's up, Minma? Make sure to play on performance mode. It's better 100%. Gotta be playing on performance mode. Wait, body confirmed. You couldn't see the Thestrals in front of the carriage before he died. After he died, your character could see them. Oh, okay. The Thestrals. I forgot what those things were called. I literally just watched the movie soon. Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. You, yep. Professor Fig, you want to hurry up, dog? Hey. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. Let's go. But sir. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Well, that just looks like it's fun is to search. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. I do Focus believe. Focus on the center. Severus Snape. Cast the basic spell to tap R2. All right. Excellent. All right. Got it. So we have active targets, kind of like Assassin's Creed. Cool. Mr. Figgy, oh my goodness, it's uncharted. That like, was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Oh, did you get your pants dirty, Fig? So I think this game's set in like the late 1800s or something like that. So it's like a hundred years before Harry Potter came into Hogwarts. All right, how are you gonna get over there? Up there. Okay. Yo, my. <laughs> I didn't realize he was an athlete like that. Okay. We're close just for this now. tutorial it's purpose, right? Ahead. We're almost to Hogwarts. Are you serious? I can't wait. Steady yourself. Yeah, I'm really struggling back here. Reparo! How does that remind me of the Lego games? Nice! 
Eleazar! Wait up, Mr. Fig. Almost there! This looks like a fighting arena. We're about to fight somebody. I think we're about to fight somebody. It's gonna Why be him. Did someone have built this here. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Yeah, the sensitivity. I still can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm picky. This is always how the first streams go. Let's turn this down just like a little bit. Oops, what the hell. All right, I'm having to get used to this menu. Every menu's different. What in the world is that? I don't even know how I got there. We're gonna go back to where we were. Haha, <laughs> okay, we didn't go back to where we were. Settings? All right, I'm still getting used to this whole cursor deal. All right, let's just put this like, eh, like right around the same. We'll figure it out. All right, mini map shows your surroundings with you in the middle. This is your current objective. Uh, press and hold the up on the D-pad to toggle quest objective tales. Or details, okay. What's up, Jamie? How we doing? How we doing? So, I will go ahead and let y'all know. Jamie is the one that got me into Harry Potter in the first place. He just kept talking it up, talking it up. Plus, he was like, man, you gotta play Hogwarts Legacy. And you know what? I gave in. But, we have a little bit of a deal, Jamie. I told you I would play this game if you would play a game of my choosing. So... If you remember which game it was, when do you plan on playing it? Let's see if you remember what game it was first. Fellow Potterhead, yes. He said we'd be back, Cheesy. Let's go, Nova. Let's go. Alright, let's see we got a little thing over here. Investigation. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm, there's the Dumbledore's. The house was a noted seer. Interesting. He's gone. You remembered. Let's go, Jamie. When are you gonna be picking that up? When are you gonna be playing it? Hey, I acted on mine, man. I'm I'm sitting here playing, playing some Harry Potter, even though, dude, or not Harry Potter. This is Hogwarts. This is not Harry Potter. Don't get it confused. Yo, my buddy, my guy can jump real high. All right, what else? Explore the ruins. All right, we need to go this way, don't we? Ooh, let's Professor, check this out. This statue. This may have been his home. Okay. We're intruding on somebody's property? Is that what you're telling me? You're gonna play it this weekend? Nice, dude. Let's go. That's awesome. I'm excited for you. It's a good game. That good story, good game. Crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Hey, yo, this looks like the, What's uh... This? Hold on. Hold up. Look, it looks like the logo. Haha. <laughs> Professor Fig. Oh my gosh. Can we just walk straight through this? Oh, Figgy boy! Oh, there you are. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't he see, see anything. It. I'm gifted. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Name. We're somewhere else now. Godric's heart. Where are we? You're Gryffindor. I don't man? believe it. Whoa. Okay. We in Gringotts? Where are we? I think I'd rather indulge in a little bit of piano. No, we gonna watch a war movie. Hey, you've been getting after those war movies, man. Hello. The goblin. Yep. <laughs> We at the bank. We at the bank. <clears throat> wakey, wakey. It can't be. Hey, what? Uh, just a moment. <laughs> What's my favorite Harry Potter movie? Ooh, if I had to narrow it down to just one, I'd probably have to say Chamber of Secrets is probably my favorite. 
the first three are the best in my opinion. Like what? Me and you've been talking, Jamie. I know we were talking about the how Welcome after four we are actually are at Gringotts. That's hilarious. I was I was vault right. Number twelve, I presume. I need to see my vault. Precisely. Yeah, but uh, Chamber of Secrets, I feel like is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Your wife's porky. Um, oh, after yes, uh, the fourth movie, it just kind of starts getting a little dark. So this way, yeah. then. The first three movies are the happiest. I'd say one and two are probably like the most like probably the ones I'm gonna go back to the most frequent if I ever was gonna go back and watch them. You know, but four is emotional, dude. I like four. After you. Goblet of Fire. Hey, I rode a ride just like this at Universal. That's crazy. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> the flying car, the spiders, the snakes, the trees, the whomping willow. I'm glad you got me into Harry Potter, man. Hundreds. In fact, You'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Our private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Sort of make me a little dizzy there, Mr. Goblin. <laughs> washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. So I would be vomiting my guts out on this thing if it was real. Holy mess. Yeah, I rode the ride before I even watched the movies, Jamie. Yeah, I committed a, a Harry Potter sin. I really wish I would have watched the movies before I went down there because I would have just enjoyed it so much more. Vault number 12. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Past the breathalyzer checkpoint. Oh. Where's he going? He's probably Professor, going to Bellatrix's. The that God was where he was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. Now Something's darker. up. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Oh yeah, he's into some shady stuff, for sure. Yeah, we don't trust that goblin, for sure. I should read the book, so much more content than the movies. Ooh. We'll, <laughs> we'll see, it'll take me. It'll take a lot out of me to read. <laughs> Not that it gets reading, but I just don't do a lot of it. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 yeah, until today. You look at his big ass hands. <laughs> Wonder what he could do with it. We can't read. Exactly, Jamie. <laughs> Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Oh, what's the door opening spell or the door unlocking spell? I kind of forgot it. Don't you think on a Hermione? Not one bit. Hey, by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for all the Hagrid. What do you suppose we should be looking for? <laughs> Hagrid's gonna be sure. here a lot. He's so, gonna be here a long time. I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. What? Wait. Mother, we cannot get out! Best of luck. What an idiot. Professor? was certainly unexpected. But it has some flu powder in here or something. Let me think. There must be something here. There's a little mm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. 
Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Okay. Okay, hold up, hold up. Yeah, okay, how does this work? Steady your wand with the left stick and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted. Okay. Alright, let's go. Oh, this is interesting. We good? Easy mode. Revelio. Cast Revelio. Revelio. There, I saw something. I haven't even spent a day at Hogwarts and I'm already learning the advanced spells. Cast Revelio again. There it is. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Jamie. He is fucking pregnant! <laughs> that TikTok was wild. <laughs> What'd he say? What a fetus delete us! <laughs> <laughs> Fiance, and I, you were gonna Nova. Yeah, let me try that again. My goodness. <laughs> I need a an audible reparo. All right, my fiance and I are watching uh, all the Western Front, and uh, we're watching Halo Reach. Nice. Getting some Clint Eastwood movies. Uh oh, turn the lights out. Lumos. I knew it. This knew is no ordinary out. vault. I should have gone Maximus Lumos. Our way out of here. What do you mean we earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Hmm. It's not Leviosa. It's Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Hey man, can you teach me some Lumo spells, man? I can't see without you. I see you. something up ahead. What is it? That's a gift. That glow again, but on the floor. Why did it take me this long to get to Hogwarts? Huh? Why am I just now now getting there as a fifth year? Whoa! Determine how to proceed. Lumo. Uh oh. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Should I cast a Revelio? Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Finally. All right, Lumos, Lumos. Spots on the Spidey Funko Pops? Yo, the pictures you sent me were sick. That uh, that one Spidey Funko Pop with him in the symbiote suit? Yo, that was nice. I definitely want to get one of those. That may be, hey, that may be the first Funko. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, let's learn Lumos. Mm, bang, bang. Lumos. In the bag, in the bag. I've acquired a wand lighting charm. Okay. Uh, R2 and then tap Lumos. triangle. Well yeah. done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Follow the light. Hold on now. Oh snap. Ron, I need you to play chess. He said, do it, Cheesy, become a Funko collector. <laughs> When the game came out, my friend texted my mom, Revelio. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious, Jamie. He said, for real, don't become a collector. My goodness. 
Master Wizard on our hands. Alright. Oh, 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 not today! Exposed. The fucking Katabra! Try again, try again, I'm on easy mode, buddy. Oh, we got the, we got the Dark Souls? Yeah. Give me the Dark Souls roll. The Souls roll. He said, "Don't get into Funkos. Click PS4, PS5 games." <laughs> yeah, that's probably. Uh, I'm probably getting a lot more use out of the PS4, PS5 games, huh? Stay close. All right, how close you want me, Big Daddy? Uh, the hell did you go? Professor, Professor Fig, R Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? You hear this glowing thing? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. 61 gold. Ah, the wisps of magic. Okay. Follow the wind. Follow your gut. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. I don't think I realized the lead up to Hogwarts was so long in this game. I thought you just started out at Hogwarts. He said, why not both rip my wallet? You're not kidding, dude. Those are expensive. Lumos. Alright. Oh, I need to Revelio first. Don't Potato. I? Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Alright. Now I gotta Lumos, Lumos these things up. Yup. Come on with it. Come on with it. I'm gonna have to do every single one of these. There's one. You good? You good? You ready? Alright. No, you come on with it. Nope, nope. Come on. Come on with it. Come on with it. Who said now you have to get a couple office pops? Oh my goodness. Uh -oh. I need to align these statues with their oh, reflections. Oh, I get it. Okay, okay. So we align that. You align that. Oh, I get it. Okay. So you draw the lines, draw the lines, draw the lines, draw the lines. And then pull this one out. There we go. This will work. This will do it right here. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Well, let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, hold uh, to stun enemies with a stupefy already? The counterattack stun to enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Got it. Hit me with that stupefy. Hit me with that stupefy. 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 Mm, mm, mm. Magic. Magic. Bit. 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 No. Stupefy. Yep. 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 Stupefy. Had to get a couple office pops. Nice. Dwight shirt on the desk. Auto success incoming. <laughs> Yo, you should get the Jan Levinson, not gold. <laughs> it's not gold anymore. You gotta get her after the surgery, though. <laughs> It'd take up more space that way. Who else wants to try the power of Papa Voldy? Lumos. Lumos. Ooh. Is this the door to the Hogwarts? Nope. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? More tutorials? Huzzah! That's gotta be the door to Hogwarts. Goody, is that you in the Chamber of Secrets? Hold on, what does the writing on the wall say? Heir to the something beware. I forgot. Alright, let's get in there. 
Jan Revelio. <laughs> Amen to that one, brother. Did you? Yup. What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Whose memories are there? Follow my lead. That's all I've been doing the whole game. Hello there, old chap. in place. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. So you're telling me our boy Fred Chester can see ancient traces of ancient magic? That's what we're working with? That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock, Ran this guy. Rock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Yo, how do you move your arms with those shoulder pads, dude? <clears throat> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. Oh, good I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. Come on now. Ranrock, that's mean, dude. I have no patience for traitors. Don't be mean, Ranrock. That's no. not nice. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Uh, okay, this guy's like super powerful. What the? Nobody does that to protect Professor Fig and lives. Oh, it's just you and me here now, buddy. Oh my goodness. What in the world is that thing? Get him! Yeah. Get him! Swing the hammer! 
Keep it up, Professor Fig. We must be going. I was just trying to get to Hogwarts. Oh, snap, brother. Really? <laughs> Brush him back. Yo, Figgy boy. Oh, snap. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Oh, snap. Oh. Arresto momento. <sighs> Did you just... No, we didn't apparate. Are you all right? Maybe. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. I think we found our final boss. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Hey, the music. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Yeah, put me in my house. I haven't seen Neutro's video yet, Jamie. Um, but yeah, I've noticed you haven't been in the stream, man. I've been to, like, I've tried to be in every stream if I can. Hey, we made it to Hogwarts. Hey, we beat the train, too. Let's go. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, this is where we get our title screen right here. Hedwig. Yes, give it to me. Give me that title screen. Give me that title screen. Give me that title screen. Come on. Don't disappoint me right here. Yes! Port Key Games presents Hogwarts Legacy. Let's go! Oh. Let's go, new game, baby! We're here, stream number one! Let's go! You're a wizard, fried cheesy. Ha <laughs> ha! Trophy pop time? Trophy pop? Trophy pop? No! Let's go, dude. I'm excited about this. You yeah, look so good. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. Oh boy. This is the moment I of truth. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. The robes, the robes, the robes, now, the robes. I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Uh-huh. So I've been waiting on. Hello, Professor. <laughs> that was awkward. Phineas Nigellus Black. Hey, he's related. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. He's the headmaster? Okay. What up, Hetty? Fig! Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. I there missed it, no. Complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Yeah, this looks a lot smaller than in the movie. <laughs> I get it, though. Range, is that you? We've one more to be sorted. Oh, that's Miss Weasley, is it? Well, oh, hello there. You're just in time. Have a seat. All right, here we go. We get put in our house. All right. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do what uh what the sorting hat says, right? Particularly hard to place. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Alright. We got we got some choices here. 
Let's see, uh, trophy, to trophy time soon, no worries. Porky Games should make a DLC or something. Yes, they should. Have a, I'm only an hour into this game, and I'm already saying they should make a DLC. It is never too late to make a DLC, you are right, heaven or hell. And then Saul Goodman on The Office. Listen here, man, it's all good, man. Which house, which house? Oh, you know what, before we do this, before we get into this, real quick, I kind of want to just see, let's just see if we were to put it up to a random generator. <laughs> Let's just see. Let's just see what we get here, right? Hufflepuff? You know what? I was leaning Hufflepuff. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Just because an ode to Cedric Diggory. But I don't know. I don't know. All right. I kind of can't wait to explore. Let's see Let's see what the sorting hat has for us. You know, we got, we, we got Hufflepuff in the back of our head. But let's just see. All right, I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what is it? Oh gosh, daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. Ooh. I don't know. I really don't know. Curiosity, maybe? Lo I feel like I'm pretty loyal. I feel like I'm pretty loyal, I don't know. But ambition seems pretty good too. This is probably gonna be like what, what, like what decides what, right? Oh gosh, I'm torn. I'm torn. All right, any, meeny, miny, mo, catch a Ravenclaw by the toe. If he allers, let him go. My witch said to pick the very best one, and you are not it. All right, so we're not doing daring. All right, let's. Go. I feel like ambition's probably gonna be the best way to go. You know what I mean? Oh, dude, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Ambition or loyalty? That's what's between right now. I feel like loyalty doesn't apply to video games, you know? We, we just, we kill everybody. Alright, ambition it is! Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. An eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Slytherin? <laughs> we got Slytherin! Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? We gotta embrace our bad side sometimes. What's up, Camille? How we doing? What's up, dude? What up? Uh, as someone who's gotten the fucking plat cheesy, you're gonna regret it. Oh my goodness. So uh, it's pretty bad then, huh? Is the buggy trophies, is that what it is? I saw that on the, the trophy guide. Hey, we'll see. Those collectibles have hurt her trip. But hey, we have found our house. We got our house. We're in Slytherin, dude. Let's go. Trophy time. The sword who makes an entrance. Let's go. We're on the board, baby. Complete the introduction and finish the sorting ceremony. A. You belong Ay. in Slytherin. <laughs> Tricky, please. All right, got them robes on. <laughs> it feels good to oh, be bad. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. What the fuck? It's not as though I've banned <laughs> flying altogether, but don't tempt me. What's up, Bosco? How we doing, man? Focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. You are gonna make that love making spell, huh? Huh? Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. It's Litherin. Yes. As I was saying... I'm feeling bad. I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. 
As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Hey, Mama Weasley. It was just like Ron's like great great grandmother or something, probably. Too many collectibles, but it's not even the top five games with most collectibles I've platted. I'm sure it's bad, but I don't think it'll be like terrible, terrible. I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. But just get money. Very well. Aspiration. So sneaky and slither because I'm a snake. I'm a Slytherin. I do this in the well name done. of Salazar Slytherin. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. We made it, baby. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. It makes me smile. <laughs> I like that. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Oh, we are here, baby. We made it. Oh, let's just take a look around real quick. This is my bed. This is my plans to rule the world. This is my chair where I think about ruling the world. Nice. Yo, it's got 600 something collectibles. Oh my God. Hey, that, that you know what? We can do this. We can do this. Hey, do the mirrors work? Kind of. Hey, let's go. Somebody needs to clean that thing off, though, for real. Alright, oh, what, what's over here? What, oh, can we take an apple? Or an orange? Whatever these are. <laughs> Look at that. He just Accio Apple. What's uh, what's over here, huh? Can we open the door? Oh, we can open the door. I'm gonna go the opposite direction it tells me to go. Oh, we are inside the castle! Oh, this feels cool. This is cool. This is neat. I'm fanboying right now. This is this is cool. I'm I'm down with this. I don't even care. Hello, can I speak to you? Hey, yo, what up, Cho? I found it rather boring. Although, in all fairness, it only partially worked, which did look awfully strange. Yeah. I had a friend who Do the, the dirty deeds. Oh, bless you. All right, can we can we actually play? I ain't even gotta touch the keys. <laughs> Now that I'm slow, then I gotta spam that one magic spell. <gasps> Good job! Oh, exactly, heaven or hell. Yes. Oh, and if I had to choose, I'm picking hell. <laughs> yeah, it's me. I'm gonna be your biggest nightmare. <laughs> Alright, introduce myself to three different people Imelda, Ominous, and Sebastian. Let's go over here first. Uh, might want to think that again. Ooh, who's winning? All right, let's go talk to this person over here. Ominous Gaunt. I, I think I heard one. Oh. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Look nice at me, you're talking ominous. to me. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Who are you looking at, dude? Uh, memorable, more like terrifying. I do like to make an entrance. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. You're gonna be a <laughs> cocky douchebag, man. In the that's right house. that's the Slytherin do let way. Do know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Though I doubt you'll need it. Curses are actually missable? Ooh, damn. Uh, let's see. Um, did you expect, you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. Is this guy blind? He's obsessed with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Do mermaids often appear? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes. But I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. Under the it sea. is fun to play along, though. 
been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Nice meeting you. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Alright. Imelda, you're next. Might want to think that. Um... They're not required for trophies. Well, at least they're not required because that would really freaking suck. Uh, really like the gaming experience when you play the Lego games. Uh, not gonna lie, you talking about the Harry Potter Lego games? Yeah. Um, since I've since I'm a Harry Potter fan now, hey, that may be a, that may be one of those things I go back to. How hard are the plats on those games? I've never uh, never even tried to look I it up. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Hey, Melda, since you're so smart, you want to tell me what's going on? Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here. Watch this. Don't oh, we said those really warning. killed the gaming experience. Oh, oh, okay. Checkmate. The collectibles. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, what a cheater. Hey, what you should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin. The one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day. Taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Oh, really? I wish you'd been there. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. You seem to know a lot about wizard chess. Or how about, do you fly a lot? Let's do you have that. a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Yo, give me a broom. I want a broom. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Maybe you're just smarter than us, huh? Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Alright, gotta meet Sebastian. Speaking of mermaids. That is not helpful. What are you reading? Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Yeah, this guy looks like my next-door neighbor growing up. <laughs> Shout out, Jacob. What's up, dude? It was uh, exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. I'm taking credit for everything. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Uh, what were you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Hint, hint, hint. What do you mean? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? If I could Seems have... I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. Uh, it's it ambitious. Was good, you. good luck today. Thanks, Sabs. Is the new Luckily, the new, new gen LEGO games, you can save an X and keep your collectibles out finishing the level. You know, I need to get into some LEGO games. I've not played a LEGO game in probably like 15 years plus. So, hey, maybe one day. Tip, try to do Sebastian's quest as soon as they appear. will make your game more fun in the long run. Oh, we love the tips, baby. Appreciate the tip, Imp. I will do that. Uh, he Heaven or Hell played the Lego Harry Potter games a long time ago. Maybe may go back and try to plat them? Do it. Do the roll. He's waiting for you just by the stairs. Well, thanks, Imelda. That was her, right? Professor Weasley. Yeah, my guy is fast. Well, hey there, Mama. What you got for me? Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, I've already got a trophy. Your unique situation. Joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. 
especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. It's a book! Here no way! Are. H for Fred Chester. Oh my god, all the pages are going away! What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Oh. Bye bye. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? It's our statistics page Perhaps in the pause menu. In action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. How many this people way. have you ah Avada Kedavra? This way, but there's a little white dot over here. I would have appreciated something what? like the field guide when I was a student. Using the mm. guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Oh, the fire looks good. Weasley's wrong. The platinum requires four first days of Hogwarts. The guide will give you opportunities uh -oh. to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. So I really haven't checked out the trophy guide. I'm Do guessing what you up. mean is you have to get like you have to go into each different uh, house. Is uh, that's probably what I'm guessing, right? If you said four different days. Why Whoa. don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Okay. Oh, field gun page. Hey, a Kelpie statue. The statue depicts a Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon. Okay, Kelpie is ever... Wait, the largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotty. Nice. Challenge unlocked. Okay, just unlocked a field, uh, field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears. Hey. Okay. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Level one, baby. We're just getting started. Uh, your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming we have to make all of these 100%. All right. These are the different pages we need. Each challenge has tiers. Special awards unlock at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Okay, they must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Got it, got it, got it. Let's go. Clever, isn't it? Oh, got the book. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. I'll hate that part, Imp. Oh, God. Oh, well. Oh well, hey, what's an extra four hours? <laughs> oh. You know, I actually was kind of surprised at how long the intro was. And I'm not really sure there's a whole lot you can skip. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's the regret that Camille was talking about for sure. <laughs> you may be onto something though, haven't you? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh, Your we're going flu. It contains a map of the castle. Diagonally. Find Central <laughs> Hall. What did he say? <laughs> Diagonally. <laughs> that was one of the funniest parts. I think that was in, uh. I think that was in, um. Oh, God. I just watched it the other day. Damn it. It's the fourth one. Whatever the fourth one is. The. Yeah, whatever. The wizard. Try wizard tournament, all that stuff. All right, discovered a flu flame. It may have been two. I don't even remember. All right, discovered a flu flame. Fast travel point. Got it. Open the map. Oh, that's cool. Yo, I like that. All right. Divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common room, and the great hall. Okay, so we have a couple different locations. Is that what you're saying? The grand staircase. So we got to unlock the rest of them by visiting, I guess. 
Yo, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, dude, I like that. All right, let's go to the grand staircase. It's our only option. Uh, in this view, you can see flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you've discovered, including your own house. Uh, gray reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Nice, nice, nice. Doing a new game plus is already tiring, and now you gotta do it four times? Oh my god. Hey, yo, what? I didn't know that. <laughs> hey, we're in for the long haul, man. Hey, how long do we think it's gonna take me to platinum this game? It is March 20th right now. Are we expecting I'll have this by, like, April 10th? If I get after it, maybe? April 10th, is that our, uh, is that our, our soft goal, maybe? Oh, wait, we did something wrong. Go to the annex, okay. Okay, got this one right here. Should we go ahead and go? Let's do it. 70 to 80 hours, that's not terrible. And here we are. Quite I knew it was a big game. Saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. I'm okay with that. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Okay, um, can you tell me more about Charms class? Uh, thank God Rocksteady didn't make us 100% Arkham Knight twice like they did Arkham City. Yeah, Arkham Knight was a... It was a lot to do in that game. There was so much to do, but... Yeah, that's a... That, that, that trophy in, in Arkham City is just wild. I mean, why would you make us 100% the game twice? We gotta grab all the uh, the Riddler trophies twice? Twice? Gotta listen to Enigma talk all that shit. Okay, anyway. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. Uh, defense Against the Dark Arts. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What's Hogsmeade exactly? I know, but Fred Chester may not know. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require I want to go check out the pubs, get some butterbeer. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. That's and it. you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. All right. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. Wasn't that My bad. suspicion is I that think we had it under control. A story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Um, hold on, I'm, I wasn't listening. There, there's suspicion that there is, in fact. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. I'll be honest. Ended up exploring some ruins, and oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well. I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. They. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. 
perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. <laughs> She's not lying, though. I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. If they made us get all the trophies twice, I'd probably delete the that. game. <laughs> I need to get to class myself. That's Might wild. I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details If of any the game, I mean, like, I know... Of course. Thank you. What was it, Anth? You said Dark Souls makes you, makes you do a lot of stuff twice. Speaking Good of Dark Souls, how are we doing on the, the, the Journey to 100 Plats? Your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Search and over this. invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I got an alley. All right. Well, we are free to go. If you didn't hear me, Info was saying, uh, how's the how's the journey to 100 plats going? Because I know you were trying to get plat number 99 and 100 completed. But, yeah, going to classes reminds me of uh, a different game. I think we all know which game I'm talking about, right? We all know which game I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh. Whatever, Mom. I'm Jimmy freaking Hopkins. <laughs> Yo, I freaking love the crap out of Bully. This is just this is just Wizards Bully, isn't it? <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. I love this music. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to get that in there. Yeah, this game does remind me. Just because it's just because it's set in a school. All right, what's up, bud? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. Just spoke. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Hope I didn't say too much. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. I've been doing and yoga. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. Uh, open quas... Quas... No, I've been in the mood uh, for Plague's Tale, so I've been playing Wildlands. Hey, so you're enjoying Wildlands then? That's awesome. Uh, not close to a plat. Anything? Not been playing much. Oh, well, you know what? There's plenty of time out there. There's plenty of time, plenty of games to play. Heaven or Hell, I completely agree. Bully needs some type of something. We need some type of news on Bully because that game was great. I know it existed at the perfect time. Um, they, I'm, I'm really hoping if they do a re reboot or something like that, they don't like completely just like, um, like change the game. Cause a lot of those jokes back in those days, like, like people calling people fat nowadays is offensive apparently. But anyway, all right. Track a quest. Got a couple quests already. Okay. Yep. 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 Some quests are locked by spell and level requirements. Oh my gosh. 100, 150 field pages, 35 collection chests. Uh, 10 demigods statues and one astronomy table. That's just in Hogwarts. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? We got charms class and we got defense against the dark arts. So we'll get Accio and then we'll get Levioso from uh, defense against the dark arts. Let's do, uh, let's go to charms class first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Ooh, You'll you enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall be still alive when I have more information about our mysterious oh, locket. Already alive? For now, <laughs> focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. 
All right, then. Quest complete. Welcome to Hogwarts. All right. Cast, wait, cast charmed compass. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. I like that. Oh, I like that. That's, that's pretty cool. Ooh, who's playing? Who's playing? Who did that? Huh? Huh? Where's El Instrumento? Where'd that music come from? Okay. It's a game about wizards. Can't expect everything to be there. A bully game with online multiplayer would be cool. Yeah, that's like GTA Online for kids. <laughs> Basically, right? Oh, dude, there's just so much to love about this. I mean, just getting lost in this world it seems super easy. Especially if you're like a super, super big Harry Potter nerd. I mean, even if you're not, this, is like, this seems like a fun game to play. Holy mess. This is... That is... Ugh. Being here is so surreal right now. Flu flames discovered. Hey, yo, we got... This is where you do the flu flame? Flu flame! Alright. Charms class. They're actually moving. That's so funny. They all... They're, are they all moving? Yup. That is so cool. If I could undo all that happened that day, I would! Hey, it's a ghost! Hold on, come back! Come back! And hey, where do you think you're going? Hey! <laughs> They locked the door. What do I press? What do I press? Oh, side quests are already available? I've barely even done a main quest. Which way? Which way? Ooh, what is this? The cat! Pet the cat. Pet the cat. Professor McGonagall. Damn, you happy as shit. Nice to see you too. It's the cat from Stray. There we go. Yo, yo. Oh, not far enough. Not high enough. Dude, don't you get tired, Freddy. All right, we're here. Arms class. Hey everyone, I'm the new fifth year. Where can I sit? Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Rise of the Ronin. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year this 5 guy. of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before page we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. I read a book in the first mm. place. This isn't even my book, dude. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, hmm. Do funny. you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? What? Hmm? Mm. Like you? Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right, we got Accio coming up. Let's see. Is there the one? All right, let's go. Bing, bang, boom, bump. Accio. Accio. Maybe eight. Give me that shit. That is not bad. What you call this world, man? You are a swift learner. 
I see a lot of potential, but remember, it's all easy, bro. Potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good. She liked the clap of the, the star people. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely. <laughs> Why day, is he walking like I was that? thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. Oh, please! After me. You went outside. What you at? Ah, <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Hey, it's Red Dead too. <laughs> it's so the epilogue for, <laughs> for Red Dead too. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> All right, we Accio in this bit. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres here. Relinquish Thank you. your charm. That's it. Ah, oh, not far now, enough. Uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. Very good. There we go. Excellent what? control there. Nope, was not. I didn't get 50 at all. Very good. Points to Slytherin. Hey. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. I'm going down, Natty. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Lisa. I can beat that. I can beat that. You know what? That I can knock your shit. Done. I can knock your shit all the way off. Come on, friend. Come on, friend. Really? Fucked up! Splendid! Let I'm fucked up! Alright, we can still we can still save this. We can still save this. Oh really? Alright, well you know what? Yes. We're gonna do a little bit of re rearranging right here. We're gonna rearrange the furniture. Wait, can I not? Oh, uh, can I not select which one? Wait, I'm trying to go to the one on the left. There we go. Not exactly your typical lesson, is it? There we go. Come on, come on. Well, all right. Well, hey, hey, get off my back! I'm playing dirty. All right. Well, we only got one shot at this. We only got one shot at this. It's either gonna be I win or it's a draw. See ya. <laughs> we tied. Could let go a little bit earlier. <laughs> let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? You put money on it? Leviosa. Uh oh. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Hey, get off of me. This round settles it all. All right. I'm gonna take off. Oh, you thought? Ah, oh, no. Not today. That is how it's done. Oh, you want to see how it's done, huh? Do you? Oh, look at that shit! Look at it! Yeah. Ah. All right, ready for this? Ready for this? I know everyone is watching. Ah, yeah. You are doing quite well. Oh, come on! Stop! 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 No! Damn it! Alright, what you got? Let us see this. Yeah, get out of there, get out of there. There we go. Alright. No! That was way too far. Way too far, bro. Oh my. Don't I suck! I suck at this. 
What? Right. If you get anything right here, I'm pretty much toast. I'm gonna have to knock your balls off. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get 50 and then knock a ball off. All right, this has got to be clutch right here. All right, let's see. We got time this out. Got time. You know what? I wonder if I can go like right in the middle and knock both of them off. Do not All right. I will start going easier. Akio. Son of a! <laughs> Do not ah. need this <laughs> That sucked. Straight up, that sucked. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on. Oh, you Very better. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Well done. <laughs> well done. I got zero there, dog. Oh, my goodness. Our Accio needs some work. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Oh, my God. Well I can hear my, my you squeaky took the chair on stream. Stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. I took the loss took in stride. Me. Screw you. I'm proficient with Accio. Shut it took up. Weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier. I you transferred. Where'd you transfer? I'm glad you understand. You know what? I'll be a little bit nicer. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. Yeah, she's being nice to I me. I can't be a dick. I transferred from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My Wagadu. mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Um, nice to meet you. <laughs> well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with Has you. It? Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. How can you tell he's behind Until you? Until next time. Of course. You can All right, real quick before we talk to old buddy, I gotta take a leak. So let me go take care of that. Be right back.
Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Ron. Hi. Sorry, I had to ack you a, a quick grilled chicken salad real quick, so I'm going to be eating that for the next uh, few minutes. But let's get back to it. All right, so we have Defense Against the Dark Arts. Can we go back and do this again? No, nah, I don't think we can. Let's just get back to the main. Let's just get back to this game. If you're so inclined. Ah, oh, that's right. We gotta go talk to old buddy. Well, you'd be using a dog word clothing if to you be would. precise, Bastion. You yeah, we know can, we talk to anybody? Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. If he's angry or, like, insane? Oh. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, no. an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, you got my Professor. ass kicked, bro. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> By who? Now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. You're a wizard, JB. Hey, we got a trophy. Trophy time, baby. First class student. Attend your first class. Let's go, baby. The games are so cool. You talking about the uh, little mini games they have you doing? Yo, I failed miserably. I got my ass kicked. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. All right then, Cressida. Yo, what's upstairs? 
Level level lock. Hold on. Oh come on! I forgot what the spell is. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yup. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Oh yeah. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble. Bro, you scored zero abilities. in the competition. What are you talking about? Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <laughs> you said, why does he have white hair? <laughs> It looks like it's supposed to have like this uh the blonde uh the blondish yellow hair but doesn't quite work out in this uh this lighting does it. Yes, M Aloha Mora. Yes. All right, looks like we got a collectible on the map somewhere. It's up above us. All right. <laughs> oh, we're going to be doing this shit all over the place. All right, let's go to uh the other class. Hold on. How do we do that? We just Got it. Track it. Track it. <laughs> You've never seen anybody lose that first game? Hey, well, I broke the code, man. I got the cheesy code. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong damn way. Oh, hold up. The Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. This? I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a smack. She says it's a Boot and he says it's a Flack. Peeves. All right, let's go to class. You Siri and say Lumos? Hold on. Hey Siri. Lumos. Ah! Yeah, that's so cool! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, here, let's try another one. Hey Siri. Oh, find a good opera! <laughs> she doesn't know how to respond to that one. I won't respond to that one. <laughs> oh, it's a maths game. Hold on, look at the numbers. Hold up, hold up. All right, we got zero. We got five in the middle, zero, three, and question mark. And then 12 in the middle, unicorn four, and then something else. I mean, so the pattern that you see, I mean, like, I don't know. Does it... What up, Pablo? What up, what up? How we doing? How we doing? The first night playing Hogwarts is pretty fun so far, dude. All right, so the pattern on the top one, you got five in the middle, zero, three, and then I'm guess. I mean, like, if it follows the three, add three, it's just a six. But I don't know that for sure. But, like, it's got to be had something to do with all these, like, icons on the side over here. Hold on. There's got to be some more to this. Okay. I got it. All right. So, we need to... There's got to be something else back here, maybe, too? What is this? Ah, ha, ha. Four plus unicorn equal 12? Oh, I got it. Okay. So, so basically, the top one is two, and then the bottom one is eight, right? Okay. Or four plus unicorn plus something equals 12. But like, so a unicorn, oh, we don't know what a unicorn is yet. All right, so this is the one that's on top, right? Or sorry, on bottom. Let me see. So that's a double question mark. All right, so we need to figure out the numerical values of, values of each one of these. It's all on the door, nothing around to look for. Okay, so I'm overthinking it. Hey, yo, look, it's Rick Ross or Rick Ross, Rick Roll. <laughs> never gonna give, never gonna give. See. So I'm guessing a unicorn is. I don't know. I mean, a unicorn is 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 a unicorn just just four? Is it four four four? To make it twelve. We'll leave that, and then we'll. No. I know a way to find this out. Yeah, 
<laughs> I'm cheating. Oh, come on. This is the lazy way. <laughs> Don't leave it. I'll need to do them. Wait, it's the one above the spider. Hold on. On the door. Okay, so whatever that is. So that's going to be on the one on the right? Yeah, okay. Alright, I just went past it. Hold on. There it is. And then... It'd be... Like, like how the hell do you figure that out? I'm clueless. You can't do this! <laughs> Like, for real, I can't do this? Oh, shit. <laughs> Got lucky. Don't even know what I did. Okay. So what is this? Is this a chest room? I'm guessing there's a chest right behind me. Nice. Taxidermy wall hangings. Aw. Is that a hippogriff? I think it is. Oh, Buckbeak's a nice, friendly animal. He's just misunderstood. Well, I got a top hat. Hey, yo, Mo, throw that shit on. He said, statistically impossible for you to do that within this week. <laughs> he said, you just need... He said, insane luck. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, I'll take luck. I need a little bit of luck, especially in the Accio department. All right, let's go to Defense Against the Dark Arts class. <clears throat> Damn, I need Defense Against the Throat Phlegm. Jesus. <laughs> Yo, in the South, United States right now, pollen is falling like crazy. Allergies are going to be going nuts this pe this next couple weeks. Hey, but uh, a couple days ago was the first, uh, first day of spring, so happy spring, everybody. Starting it off with a brand new game. Jamie, I, lo I told you, let's go. Yes, sir. Appreciate the help, dude. Come on, Sebastian. Slytherin. Is that all you've got? I'm saying. Oh shit. Professor Hackett. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. It's a good no thing she was here, damn. Now. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. <laughs> Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. Yeah, shut up, Lander, you bitch. As a weak opponent, care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Now we we. Oh shit. Uh, next time, just figure out the values of each animal, then I can solve all of them within seconds. Nice. Okay, I'll do that next time. I'll, I say I'll do that next time. We'll see. All right, let's go. Wingardium Leviosa! Hey. Yo, that was actually super difficult. <laughs> yeah. Now. Let's try something a little larger. <laughs> Professor Hagrid. Let us begin with a basic cast. Okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast. I did. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. 
Let me know. So, now, the big well done. Is there such a thing as overkill? Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Expelliarmus! Oh no, this is my dude. Lucky. Lucky. Uh, uh. Sorry, Sabs. Sorry, Sabs. Sebastian Swallows. Ew. Nope, not today. Yo, let's get you up in the sky. How's that feel? See ya. See ya, Seb. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Hmm. <laughs> What's that dumb smile? Come on, Fred. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Well, hold on. What's going on, girl? I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Mm-mm. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. I don't like you. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Thanks, Mommy. What's up, dude? I'm sorry nice to embarrass you. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again... <laughs> Where's Hagrid? Wasn't well, he's right here. Deal. What do you mean? Oh, that was awful. What I have to say... I gotta work on it. Oh, I've been doing too much. Alright, let's see. I've had my share of wand combat. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know... You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the We're most Slytherins, dude. We gotta stick together. Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You Why is there even a restricted section? That makes no to sense to me. Caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck. Or um, actual the skill. common house, dude? Come Look on. for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. I think I am. Till next time. That's a Sebastian mission, right? Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Level two. All right, where are we going? Let's get a quest log. Where are the quest log at? Let's see. Is that Sebastian's mission? Yup. Luke and Brattleby. All right, let's go.
Going upstairs, okay. I don't know, but for some reason I thought we were going down. Um, excuse me. Thank you. Wow. Oh, jeez, Uncle Rick. Uncle Rick. Grandpa Rick. Wait to get these. What the? Hey, chill out, dog. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. <laughs> Did you practice a bowl? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory, not for the meek. Please, please, you'll make me late. He tried to oh, stop please, me, please. the rancorous carp sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was grand yeah. my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon what and the hell, dude. Agreed. Chill out. Yo, I can't wait to get like that. I can't wait to like get out there. Oh, the Quidditch pitch! I want to go check it out. I want to go check it out. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. What's up, Seb? Gonna help you. Uh, this guy's Lucan Brattleby. All right, what you got for me? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A duel get like stops. six? It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. He's a negative fifth year. All right, that's nice to hear. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Yeah, of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Think so. Get me in the ring. I moved past the statue. I can cast a something on it for a collectible. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind next time I pass the statue. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him. Damn. All right then. All right. Levioso cracks the code. Got it. Damn! I just destroyed his ass. <laughs> See ya, Lawrence Davies. See ya, Astoria Cricket. Just broke out a Lumo mid battle. Oh, I'm learning. Should have stupefied their ass. Stupefied. <laughs> Your bitch. I don't think so. Ain't even get a hit on my. See ya. See ya. And y'all were talking nice shit. Work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up, and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now it takes time to organize. This is unsanctioned, these deals, though, dude. This isn't actual check with school me later. champion. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first crossed ones victory. Well fought. Hey. I have to see you back here again. Okay. Hey, level three. All right. So you said I moved past. Hold on. Which way was the door to come inside? Is this it? No. Wait. Is this it right here? Ah, okay. So maybe. Rebellion. Okay. okay. Ooh, there's something over here too. What is that? I can't. I can't get in there yet, can I? Um. 
Lumos. Levioso. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay. Revelio. I like that. I, I kind of like that. You cast a spell to figure out where everything else is at. And there's stuff in there. Okay, so... There's no spell I'm going to be able to use on this, though, is there? Nope. Nope, not yet. Maybe one of these days. Alright, I'm going to have to get that unlocked at some point. i got to learn Alohomora, probably. There we go. Let me outside. Outside, outside. Just wait till I've grown a bit. Then we'll hey, see how well you we do. Don't even try it. Revelio. Uh-oh, what was that? There was a page! Bring me the page! Levio <laughs> I didn't think so. Uh-oh, hold on now. Lumos. Nope. Revelio. Okay. Tried everything. Oh, that's cool. What does it tell you how to unlock all of them? Where's Avada Kedavra? Imperio, no. Crucio, Avada Kedavra. How do I unlock that? <laughs> I want it. I want it. I am, after all, a Slytherin. All right, let's get some more quests knocked out, dude. I'm enjoying this so far. What was that? Is that side quest? Oh, go back. Go back. Go back. I have to meet with Professor Weasley. Alright. Where is Professor Weasley? Right over here. Let's go check her out. And then we'll talk to her. Revelio. <laughs> wow, there's a page in here. I'm going to have to get some stuff unlocked for that. Once we learn more spells, we're going to be doing a lot more collecting, aren't we? A lot more collecting. This dude doesn't have anything for us. He, if he was blue, that'd be different. Akio. Nope. Yo, I want to get out of the castle. I want to go to Hogmeade. Hogsmead. Hogmead. Hogwarts, Hogsmead. There you go, Cheesy. You get there. You'll get there. Am I white? I'm a Slytherin! Revelio. Oh, dude, the vibe of this game is just there. You know what I mean? This just matches the the vibe so well for like the late 1800s for Hogwarts. Oh, exams. <laughs> Not a one of them deserves more than a T. This guy. Rebellion. All right, let's, sure go. let's go find Weasley. Uh oh. Are we outside, baby? Oh, it's raining. Kind of. You know, they're like not a whole lot beats exploring a new game for the first time. If it's a decent world, I mean, like exploring Gollum and Kong. Yeah, that's yeah, not so good. But in this game, it seems pretty fun so far. I mean, like games like this, it's fun. All right, Professor Weasley. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking Stop the same me. thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> ah, there you are. Hey, lover. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I oh. heard as much from Professors so Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Mm-hmm. Hasn't Professor Fig said anything? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? 
He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, oh. Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must Exploring Walking Dead Destinies. I heard nothing regard, but bad things about that game, but I don't know uh, is it I'm guessing it's just like a shit show. Assignments. That game just sucks or something. All right, just finished dinner finally. Well, let's go, we're full. All right, what does I say in, re in that regard? I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Yep. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Right. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Can't wait to meet You've him. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. The defense drew. Let's go. All right, hold on. I wasn't paying attention. I was watching the game. Uh, the game is part of the Unholy Trinity along with Gollum and Kong. Damn. Hey, that's saying something. That's saying something bad about those games. Yeah, Walking Dead Destinies. I mean, like, I don't even know the like the premise of that game. Like, what's like the what was the idea behind that game? Because it just monumentally flopped. Could not have been worse. All right, you manage your class as well with a borrowed wand, but you find the magic uh, magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. What more can you tell me about the potion shop? Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? The JP's unholy trinity. potions stocks a <laughs> wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Oh, JT. All right. Um. What's a spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Well, I'm be splitting bitches in half. <laughs> so there really is an Ollivanders here? There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. <gasps> We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. No good to Mr. Go to Diagon Ollivander Alley. is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I guess Diagon Alley is in London, right? So it's not gonna be here. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very yeah, well. Same. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've Seb. noticed you spending time with them. Seb. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. That's my best friend. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Rowan's Jack, assignment, great -grandfather. your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh, that sounds so good. Yo, I tried some butterbeer at Universal, dude. That stuff is so good, man. Some butterscotch. Ooh. Ooh. For real, though. I, I, I want some butterbeer right now. Like, no shit. All right, what we got? What we got? <clears throat> Visit Hogsmeade and gather your supplies. I would love to. All right, let's go get additional assignments before we leave. Hey, yeah, what, what, what place is this? Yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna be like catching myself walking through the, the castle, just like finding like places that look familiar. I'm like, oh, I've seen that, I've seen that, oh my God. Revelio. Ah, so, there you are. It's me. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. 
It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. What's the purpose? That's what Why I'm trying to find out. first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Alright, I'll do it. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Yeah, if we don't do the tasks, we're going to end up uh, going along Dolores Umbridge's school of thought. She, uh, she was all about the textbook and just don't... Don't actually do anything. What, what's the, the what's right the area. use for a defense? I wonder where the charm is. Right? Revelio. Oh, I got a reparo. Okay, collect the flying page near the broken statue. Okay, where's this thing at? Is it oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Accio. Accio. Got it. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Revelio. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand oh, this is one's a interesting. conduit of your magic. Yeah. Alright, let me repair or something, please. That's X. Got it. Alright. That's We're it. Have to... Very good. If you would like Repero. to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> because it is a charm. I see what you did there. It's so funny. Oh, she's pissed. Rebellion. Appreciate that one, buddy. All right, we got to go to Hogsmeade, man. Oh, are we ready? Are we ready to go to Hogsmeade? Oh, let's go. Oh, the room of requirement. Oh, that's cool. It only opens for those who absolutely need it. All right, so yeah, all right. <laughs> Nine tools, 69 enemies, a 92 appearances, 150 Revelio pages, 13 beasts, 13 brooms, 16 ingredients, 140 conjurations, 42 wand handles, and 75 traits. We got a lot of collecting to do. That's no problem. That is no problem. Ooh, hold on now. We have a lot of stuff we can put on. Gloves? No magical properties. Sell value 30. Um, whatever. We'll throw gloves on. What else we got? Nah, I'm good. Ooh. <laughs> You know, that ups our defense? That's hilarious. Good morning to you. Right, I think I'm going to go raw dog it. Good old Fred Chesty. All right. 
we have anything around the neck. Oh, I don't like that. Don't like that. Ooh, a cloak and... Oh! What do we have? What do we have? Additional school robe. Oh. Yeah, I'm keeping that on. And then outfit. What about this? Do I have anything else to put on? Unequip. Oh my... <laughs> He's in his skivvies! Put it back on now, Freddy. And we got flying mount. Oh my goodness. Yo, I can't wait to get a broom, man. I want a broom bad. I need to go to Hogsmeade to do that, don't I? Well, let's go then. Rebellion. Hmm, gotta get through that door. Can't get through that door until I learn some new spells. We'll uh, we'll we'll, we'll hold off on the collecting unless I absolutely can. Well done, I can do something right now. Like what is this? Oh. Ooh. They move. I have a lot of transmogs. Oh, I don't think I know what that is. I'm still figuring out the whole lore and everything. What's a transmog? I'm so confused. Was I looking in the wrong place? Bosco! Welcome back, dude. No owl post? No post on Sundays. Oh, you know what? Hold on. What was that? What was that? That's the same thing. Okay, this is just a different way of looking at it. Okay. Well, that's still pretty cool. I like this map a little cool. That's pretty That's pretty neat. Wait, hover over the cloak and press square. Ew, okay. Change appearance. Ew, I gotcha. Merlin's cloak. Oh, shit. <laughs> Charms professor robe. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. A rugged overcoat and then a traditional school robe. Let's let's rock the school robe just for now. But I do want to see about the... Do I have any different ones for this? Do not. Okay, so the ones with this little... I got it. Okay. Wait, can I actually change the appearance? Oh, I can. I just did it wrong. Okay. Oh, yo, that's... Oh, shit. Look at me. Hold on now. I don't like the hiked up socks. Let's uh, let's let's rock this. I kind of like that. And then what else we got? Now change the appearance of anything. I can. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, you couldn't catch me in the street wearing this up right here. Hey, he got the uh, Mortal Kombat 10 plat. Let's go. Nice. Congrats to him. Oh, I forgot he was streaming the night. Hold on. If it's not too late, I'll go in there and light the stream right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta go like the stream. Gotta go like the stream. Yeah, I've been so damn busy watching Harry Potter lately. I haven't even been keeping up. I'm going to make a little comment real quick. Nice. Nice. That's sick. That's sick. Yo, he's almost up to 1.4... Uh, 1.4K. Look at him growing before our very eyes. Love it. You love it. Alright, let's get over to Hogsmeade, man. I'm excited to get out of here. Oh, take this stupid freaking hat off. <laughs> Wait, where am I? There we go. This is a lot easier. All right. Take it off of me right now. All right, now we back, baby. All right, let's go to Hogsmeade, finally. I suspect most there's something Rebellion. Oh, what does she got? What does she got? Oh my gosh, we got another side mission. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Hello. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone mm. thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there any other paintings like this here? 
Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. I'm if I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. All right, Bosco, I take it easy, dude. And you ain't gotta apologize for not being here, man. You got you got just things going on, man. You got stuff to do. We get it. We get it. Hey, but you take it easy, man. Have you learned anything about it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. Okay. But I'm not sure what to do next. Interesting. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. All right, so Lumos. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating. Lumos. Solve the mystery. That spot must be a clue. Okay. I should look around in case it's nearby. All right, so at the corner, it's got a pillar. It's got like a little. I really can't tell what's on that on the right side over there. It looks like it's like some type of uh something. All right, you can put the Lumos away. All right, let's just see if we can't find this. It's not down here. Let's go take a look at it again. Oh, it's still there. Cool. So we got a pillar right at the corner where the stairs. I mean, that's not it. It's not. Uh oh, hold on, hold on. Get back here. And it looks like it's like right over up here, maybe? No. Revelio. Oh shit. Ah, here we go. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Statue of Gregory the Swarmy, the Smarmy, Warma. A uh, statue with an uh, ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them a potion is their best friend. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Some of these, the creativity is great. Ooh, can we get through here? Probably not. Uh oh. All right, so we just need to figure out the values of the animals. What the hell? I mean, like, how, how, where do they even begin? I'm looking for patterns. It's not even patterns. It's supposed to, it's something plus something. Plus, like, so, like, what I don't understand about this, like, on the bottom, it has the number 17 in the middle, right? And then you got, like, a little whatever animal on the left, the animal on the bottom, and then two question marks over on the right. So does that mean that it's left plus bottom Plus right equals 17. All right, so on the top, let's figure out the top first. So, okay, that's why I, I, I don't understand. I have no idea. Let's just start at the top, right? Uh, wait, is there really only one? Wait, no, there's got to be another one. What is this? Oh, here we go. Oh. Jump. Do it, pussy. Squid, cr squid plus crab plus uh, question mark equals 17. Okay, so... I mean, it could be like 9 plus 4 plus 4. I mean, like, I have no clue. So I'm wondering if like the order of like the door right here, like so like around the door right here, does that matter? Like uh, like like does, but for instance, is this little thing over here, is the squid, a uh, the highest value, and then let's say the crabs like up there on the top right, like right where my like right above my head. I'm still confused on these. You know what? There's only one way to do this. If I don't know what the hell's going on. Alright. <laughs> We're doing it the old fashioned way.
<laughs> There's only one way to find out if this works or not. Just keep trying. There we go. See? See? We made it work. All right. So now let's see. What the hell is this? The, the, the equation erases itself, though. So I don't even know. So spider and... What is that? Snakes? All right. I'm, I'm going to rewind real quick and just kind of see what the hell happened there. All right, hold on. Oh, don't lock my phone. All right, so it's 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 snakes ver. Hold on, let me rewind and see the equation. All right, so the the top one is spider. But how do you know? How do you know? He said, "Right." So how many animals are there? Oh my god, is that really it? Oh my god, is that really it? So they're really just like. Oh my god, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh my god, is it really that simple? Alright, so basically the spider's worth 10, is that right? So that means that... Oh my god. That was the easiest thing you could have told me right there. And then on the top, let's see, what was the one on the top? No, it was the snake, right? Alright, so the snake, excuse me, the snake is, should be equal to... Or maybe they're not snakes. Maybe they're these little dragon, these three-headed dragons. So that'd be four. Let's see. All right. So the crab. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus, what was the other one? So four. So seven. Uh -huh. well, that doesn't add up. Maybe it does. All right, well, hey, we're figuring it out slowly, thanks to Imp. <laughs> a loosened cobalt runic scarf, a hey. Hydra would be four, uh, except the animals are zero indexed. Zero indexed. Zero indexed. Huh? I'm telling you, man, I am not the smartest. I'm not the Rebellion. sharpest tool in the shed. I'm getting there. Hey, blue powder. Potions class. What's up, mommy? Right, can we actually go into potions class? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I'm getting so lost. I'm going so off the off the beaten path. What do we have here? Nice. Oh, we gotta unlock it. Damn it. Okay, so zero, one, two, three. Uh, I see. I'm, I'm stupid. I'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. Let's go to Hogsmeade for once. For finally. Uh, wait. What are we looking for here? Revelio. Is that anything? Akio. Lumos. Oh, look Let's at that. Get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh. Okay. Nice. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Level four already. Okay, so the numbers start with zero. So uh, what number high would you be if it's the fourth animal? So it'd be three. I'm telling you, I need somebody to explain everything to me. If, once I once I learn it, I can I can get it. It's just getting there is tough for me on my own. The Nora, I solved the mystery of that painting. It's not you did. How? Magic. Followed the clues. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Uh, moth to a flame. Pity moth I was to a flame. So close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth. I should have seen that. <laughs> like a moth to a frame. Right now, I can solve them all. I hey, appreciate the help, dude. I'm still trying to figure out the equation. <laughs> all right, we're talking about it. Let's finally do it. I'm not. I'm not getting distracted this time. I'm going straight there. I say that. Oh my god, I'm distracted already. Ah! 
There's a side quest. Oh wait, is it a? Is it a? Hold on. Rebellion. Oh, it's upstairs. Never mind. All right, I see that now. I'll come. Uh, you know what? I said I wasn't getting distracted, but I gotta at least activate the side quest. Oh, it's okay, I really girl. have made a mess of things. It's okay. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But it's I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> That's amazing. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Sure. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. Moon's she won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. That'd be me. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees have one. Have we met Amit yet? I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Okay. Will we make it to Hogsmeade without getting up? Oh, we're already we're already distracted. We're doing we're doing Crusaders. Uh oh, blind books. Give me that. Thank you. Got it. There's one. Four more to go. There's one up there. All right. Where else are they? Is there any on the bottom level right here? What is this? Ah. Uh, Collectibles galore, dude. It, it's got me addicted already. All right, so we got a lot of books upstairs. Let's go ahead and grab these some a bit. Akio. Take that. Revelio. Oh, there's one. There's one. Can I, reach? Can I reach? Oh, look at that. The Akio is a lot better here than it was in class. There's three. All right, we got two more flying around here somewhere. Just think, a hundred years from now, Hermione will be finding the the Polyjuice Potion spellbook. Polyjuice Potion. What's up, Maxie? How we doing? What up, dude? You just stole forty gold from the library, and I'm proud of it too. I'm a Slytherin. I'm bad. Oh, I'm bad to the bone. Uh oh, look at this. Let me oh, wrong one. Lumos. All right. It looks like it is. There's a guy with the painting. It looks like he's over there. Okay. Protego. <laughs> Oops. Uh oh. Flying book. Flying book. Flying book. Missed it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Come on. Come on. In my hands. Nice game. Hey, I'm glad you like it, Maxie. Have you played it before? You love Harry Potter? Oh, I'm, I'm guessing you've definitely played this before then. Let's see. All right. This seems like the place. Lumos. All right. What exactly am I looking for here? There's a butterfly over there somewhere. Okay, I got Rebellion. it. So is that... Are they all going to be butterflies? Oh, there's a last one. Give me that. That's the last book. Today was a good day, that is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. I had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if, if it wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he'd have been expelled by now. Our both Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Mm, yeah, she likes a meat pie. 
All right. Um. So what exactly? Oh, there's the. There you are. There you are. Here, come Lemos. on, follow me. Follow me. Let's get you back where you belong. You still uh, have the Harry Potter series? Nice. I'm assuming you've read the books, watched the movies, and done all the things. So, do we think the movie Fantastic Beasts is worth it? Because I have not even... I didn't, so, a uh, little story on me. I have, didn't even watch any of the Harry Potter movies until about three months ago. <laughs> so, yeah, I got sick uh, for a couple days. Had like a stomach bug. And, yeah, watched them all. <laughs> but, can I jump over this? No. Boring. But... Yeah, is Fantastic Beast even worth it, or is it just not? I mean, I know it's not going to be as good as Harry Potter, but that was kind of fun. Wait, wait, wait! She's upstairs. Hold on. Rashida. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, I read all of it. What a relief! Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Perhaps a reward? Ah! Let me, let me be nice to her. It's my first day here. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime the soon. The nicest Slytherin you've ever now, met. To work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. And brush your teeth. And drink water. Thank goodness some people hey, are trustworthy. Perk up. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Yep, couldn't be me. Fantastic Beast is worth it. The other two, meh. So, did they make three Fantastic Beast Beasts movie, movie, movies? <laughs> Jeez. All right, where am I going? Am I finally gonna get the Hogsmeade? It's like every time, every single time I make my way over there, I always see something that distracts me. I bet you I'm going to see something else that's going to distract me. Watch. Watch. It's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I'm in a dead sprint. Hey, chill out, boys. No, not some Abbott Costello crap. Come on. Who's on first? What's on second? Yeah, uh-huh. Yep, yep. You guys know. You guys know. You guys are all about that, huh? Revelio. Nothing. <laughs> Silly boys. Your favorite are Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings? Hey, well, I'll be playing some uh, Lord of the Rings type games this year. We'll see, we'll see. I don't know when I'm going to be playing those, though. I haven't, haven't actually put them on the list on when I'm going to play them, but I do plan well, on playing them. Fancy meeting you here. What up, Seb? Let's go, dude. Let's go to Hogsmeade. Hello, Finally. Sebastian. Finally! Ah, my new charge. charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I think I'll be max level before I get to Hogsmeade. Just about, right? Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Let's do it. Will I plat Gollum? Oh my god. I don't want to say anything about Gollum. <laughs> I precious. You will not be plat me, Gollum. No, nah, that's not happening. Hey, we outside. If you ain't outside, where the fuck you at? Yeah. Wow, it's beautiful. Sebastian, wait up. Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. I need to soak this of in. This course. is cool. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be I wise to keep an eye on you. I like how the side uh, side dialogue is, has smaller subtitles. Oh Speaking my music, god! She seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Hey, Spend Impa, a lot of time in detention, do you? Impa, I'll tell you something. So, if you plat Gollum... You let me know how hard it is, or let me how 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 it is in general, and then let me know, <laughs> and then I'll decide if I want to play it. <laughs> I'll make you the the, the, the guinea well pig. <laughs> nah, but we'll see. Maybe one of those like bad games we uh, we do. I don't know. Oh, the Wizarding World. We made it outside the castle. All right, Sebastian. 
<laughs> oh boy, this is this is where I start getting giddy right here. This is where I start getting a little happy. Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead and plan out Cyberpunk. Oh, hey, well, I'll go ahead and let you know, Maxi. Cyber, I do own a copy of Cyberpunk. I will be playing it. Don't know when that's going to be yet. So I'll have to find out. I'll have to find out when I'm going to be squeezing it in. Um, I do want to finish or at least play a lot of the uh, Far Cry games before I start playing Cyberpunk. But we'll see. We'll see. He said, how about no? <laughs> I don't blame you, Imp. I do not blame you. Speaking one of detention, bit. this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. It was worth a shot. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Well, we're getting our exercise over there, aren't we? Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Oh! 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 Oh my god! <laughs> okay, this is one of the like my favorite things I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Dude, that's so sick. Oh my god, dude. I can't wait to get a freaking broom. Yo. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I oh, wait, you own a physical copy of Gollum? <laughs> she it's an antique. shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section. And I, on the other hand... A, a PS5 game from the 90s. <laughs> what the hell? That's hilarious. <laughs> Just for funsies. Oh, man. I mean, this, this doesn't look like the best, but it looks oh, really freaking good. Just one moment. This is an excellent this, this spot isn't, to gather lace This isn't flies. the last of us. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful... Damn pretty. Alright, lacewing flies. Alright, so if you see... Oh, we got more lacewing flies over here. Hold on, Sab. Alright, coming. He's like, dude, hurry up, dude. I know it already. I saved you a trip to the detention, like you just said, so maybe you should take it a little easy on me, dude. Rowan's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Oh. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Hippogriffs! Do you think Poppy's already seen the Hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely Rebellion. already named them, too. Prancehoof and Sugarfoot. What about Bugbeak? So that must be Bogbeak's ancestors. Oh, there's the hogs me. students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see hogs me just past those ruins up ahead. Yeah, but you can see the bridge. Oh, dude. <sighs> Every chance I get, I'm looking at this. Holy crap, this looks so good. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm gonna be. Like I know we've talked about the collectible grind and everything, and it's all it's it's this it's that. But you dude, like chance to explore the castle. First night's always little, the best night. I'm enjoying the hell out of it right now. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps it's just me day. and you, bud. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Press the right trigger, a bunch. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. Uh... But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. It's one of those times where I just have this like big stupid smile on my face. <laughs> I'm so down with this. Uh oh, we got a little uh, a paw print up here. What's going on? What's going on up here? Hold on, hold on, bud. Let me let me go check this out. What is this? Oh shit! I abandoned Sebastian. Sorry, bud. I didn't mean to do Mr. that. Mr. Moon, he's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Oh really? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Jackie Moon. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Oh, this guy's drunk. Is all right, sir? Oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. Look what at this bee he... flying super. Oh, Ugly and airy and terrifying. Bees just fly in place. 
I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Temmy, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. He was pretty fucked up, Mr. wasn't he? Moon's quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. What we got? What we got? Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is. Or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Oh, that sucks, dude. I'm sorry. Fogsmead. The music, it's kicking up. Oh, they're setting the mood for us. Ah, <laughs> yo, this is already cool. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place. Yeah, you kidding. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Or a frame, I get it. A lot of moth references so far, huh? So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, didn't he see some spellcrafts and some potion recipes? Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Okay. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. All right, brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide map. Bet. Oh, that's so cool, dude. I like the map. All right, we got a place to go get a haircut. We got a hat shop. Hogsmeade Square, Steeply and Sons, Honey Dukes, Brood and Peck. Latest and greatest in beast byproducts. The old fool. The three broom sticks. Oh, we gotta get some butterbeer, baby. Zonko's joke shop. Hey, isn't that where uh, Fred and George work? Ollivander's right here. Yep. Spent witch's sporting needs. Oh, can we wait? How long? How much does a broom cost? That's like right behind us. J. Pippin's potions. The magic neep. Hogshead and last but not least, tomes and scrolls. All right, we got a lot of places to go. Before we get into it, though, gotta take a quick, quick restroom break. So, I'll be right back. All right, let's get back to this.
Okay, some some quests have been open objectives with no compass paths at a personal waypoint from the map to track your own locations. Oh, I just kind of want to just explore though. I want to go to Zonko's. That's gonna be the first place we visit. It's gotta be right. Zonko's. Let's go inside, dude. Ah. Jokes, 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 jokes. Musical balloons. Play me a song. There's a lady who's sure. It's in bobs all over the world. Billy Weed, hey, shout out Neville Longbottom right here. Yo, was that? That looked just like. No, it didn't. <laughs> Never mind. Anything upstairs for us? Hey, what do you got to say? We're Nothing. Ready. I'm casting spells on you, at. A bewildering can of mystery. Okay. Oh! It's like magic. What's up, dude? What are you? What are you doing? What are you? What you into right now? Take an inventory of all the magic in here. Can I go out this door? I'm gonna say no. Oh, okay. All right, it's like that now. Hey, you see a door? You take that shit. All right. We've been to Zonko's. That was the one thing I wanted to do. Oh, what's out there? What's out there? I didn't see that. Hold up. Dog weed and death cap. All right, so technically the only thing we really need to do is let's go to the magic neep for actually can we skip all that and go to the sports shop? Let's go to the sports shop first. I don't think we're going to be able to get anything there, but I at least want to go and find out what I'm going to need. You know what I mean? Oh, there's a chest. There's a chest. Inside somewhere. What's this? Yeah, trim it up. Tr oh yeah, that's so cool. There you go. Hey, looking good. Just needed somebody to give a little push. I find myself scurrying over night these days. Oh, this one's like oh, locked. Of course, it's locked. Oops. Sorry, just didn't mean to kick you in the face like that. Oops. Sorry, did it again. <laughs> I am a Slytherin after all. Yep, one door. Damn, that sucks. Alright. Didn't think I'd be able to do anything, but hey. Can't even get in. Alright, we need to go to Ollivanders. Let's get a wand first. Let's get our wand. Let's let our lawn our wand to choose us. Sounds like Dumbledore a little bit, huh? Not again. Sorry, Ollivander, I just stole one of your robes in this chest up here. Hope you don't mind. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. How do they know me? Am I, like, notorious around these parts? And why? Uh, mm, hello, sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Hey, pick it good. Um, pick it nice. Uh, pick the right one, yes. please. Yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Oh, step, bro. You might do. Whoa. Here, <laughs> give this one a try. I dig it. Well, go ahead, swish. Nope. Hmm. That's not it. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, yeah, this... oh dear. Something tells me this may not be the one. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, 
We'll find so you pick a good, pick a nice. Mm. No, no, not you. Uh, Give me the right one. Uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Shalom. Let's give this one a try. This is not going to be it either, is it? Nope. Music says no. <laughs> oh goodness! Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Thank you. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. It's off screen. They're going to let us design it, aren't they? Look at that. Look at that. All right. So... It's the finalized one. I got it. Okay, so let's figure this out. Okay, uh, variations. Uh, let's see. Curious got indeed. Pale brown, buff, and then dark brown. I think I like the dark brown the best. Let's see. Notched. Okay, let's figure out what kind of wand we want first. How Notched. Intriguing. Classic. Soft spiral. Spiral. Stalk. Ringed. Cricket spiral or natural? Ooh, I kind of like natural. That's kind of sick. I kind of like that. Let me see. What are, what are our options here? What if we can we come back and change this whenever we want? Kind of like that that natural warm brown. You know what I mean? If I was feeling another one, it'd probably be either the like this one right here, intriguing. the soft spiral. That one's kind of neat. Ooh, you know what? Ooh, okay. I kind of like that. Kind of like that soft spiral black. Curious indeed. And then classic is just too meh, you know what I mean? It's just too too wandy. Let's go let's go to this one right here. That's the winner. Purchase it, let's go. <laughs> you gotta what hold that shit. Think? Oh I like it. He lives and breathes the dog. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> black on black with hair slick back. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to oh, can customize it more. Damn, I had no particularly idea. Particularly in a moment of Oops. need. Oops, that sounds wonderful, <laughs> Mr. Ollivander. I got I'll Mr. Bland wand. Do come and see me again if ever I can be of further assistance. So, like, can I just like go back to the counter and be like, "Hey, my bad, my bad. Hey, oopsie daisies. Didn't mean that. Here, help me." Protego. Hey. Buddy, I'm trying to swap it again. Mr. Ollivander, please. <laughs> oh, well. Well, that sucks. I guess I can't do anything with that now. There's no going back. No taxis backsies now. I'm definitely using this. Um, you know what? We're going to go ahead and turn this sensitivity on this thing all the way up because this thing is kind of annoying. Let's see. Let's see. Where's it at? Where's it at? Yeah, I feel like I've been spending a lot of time in settings. My bad, my bad. I'm just trying to get it right. Uh, da, 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 da. I saw something earlier. I'm just missing it. Oh well, I'll come back later. I'll do it. I'll do it later. All right. So what could I have? Uh, what could I have changed? And is there anything I can do new? Okay, what about gear? There we go. Wand handles. Ah, uh, okay. Do I have an auto save before Ollivander? Let's find out. Let's see, it is, uh, yeah, welcome to Hogsmeade. So, I'm guessing this is it right here. 
<laughs> We're going back. All right, we haven't visited Ollivander's yet on this one. We gotta retrace our steps. All right, I'm gonna give it a closer look this time. Oh, you know what? Here, not this one, but... Where was it I went a minute ago? Oh, that's right, I went to Zonko's, wasn't it? Oh my god, where are we at? There was a chest in Zonko's, wasn't there? I thought there was. I was gonna go grab that again, just in case I didn't get it. I don't think I got it. Oh, no, there were no, there were no chests. All right, let's go. Back to Ollivanders! I'm on the wrong road. One never knows. Jeez, I went way past it. I thought I was, <laughs> I thought I was gonna walk right by it and it was gonna be obvious. Nope, not at all. All right, let's check this out. Hope we can do it right this time. I didn't think I can mess up buying a wand. Merlin's blooming beard. Not a shame. All right, we're gonna go ahead and skip right this this with... time. Ah. Ah, I got wood type and then wand core options. Okay, okay. Wow, what? I, how did I? How the hell did I not see this the first time? All right, let's start with the the wand core options. Let's see, dragon heart string that serves as a core of the wand, known for producing powerful magic. The hair of a unicorn that serves as the core of a wand, known for producing consistent magic, or phoenix feather uh, that serves as the core of a wand capable of producing a great range of magic. Ooh, so maybe maybe phoenix feather is the way to go? We'll come back to that. So wood type, what does this How matter? Intriguing. So we got quite bendy, fairly bendy, very flexible, quite flexible, surprisingly swishy, swishy, slightly springy, supple, Curious reasonably indeed. supple, whippy, pliant, brittle, hard, solid, stiff, rigid, unbending, slightly yielding, and unyielding. How intriguing. Quite bendy. <laughs> what, what about like nice pliant wand? You don't want it too much bend in your wand, right? You don't want this Curious thing just flopping indeed. all over the place. I kind of want to make a solid one, but I think pliant's the best way to go. Let's see. How intriguing. Ooh, 14 and a half inches? Oh my goodness, the ladies are going to love me. What's the shortest we can go? Nine and a half? I mean, like, nine and a half, you can almost fit in your pocket, though, right? Eleven and a quarter. I mean, it's longer, actually better here. Maybe, like, a good old ten and a half. Wood type. Oh my goodness. How intriguing. Oh, we got so many different types of wood. A stiff one, <laughs> right? Yo, they didn't know what they were doing. Curious indeed. So we have a lot of different types of wood, man. How intriguing. So that's black walnut. Curious indeed. Yeah, they really give you a lot of options, don't they? How intriguing. Sycamore seems right. Sycamore feels good. Let's do that. Oh, nope. Sycamore. Curious indeed. All right, we're good there. Phoenix Feather just feels like the right one, you know? A great range of magic. I want to be a, a one-stop shop. I want to be a do-it-all, you know? I want to stick with what I was using, though. The, uh, the Soft Spiral. Black. Alright, Sycamore, ten and a half inches, pliant. I'm going to go with Phoenix ah, Feather. Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare. And a core with a strong sense of initiative. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Well, then why don't I do that? I mean, I don't know. It's between uh, dragon heartstring and phoenix feather. 
like, I don't know, because Dragon Heartstring is what, uh, Lucius Malfoy had, right? Um. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Do I want to be able to do a lot of stuff okay, or do I want to be doing, like, like freaking bomb-ass shit with the Dragon Heartstring? Oh, you know what? My heart, my, my stomach, my gut feeling tells me to go with the Phoenix Feather. I don't know why. I'm gonna do it. Alright, Phoenix Feather, Wood Type, Sycamore, I would think we're good there. Wand Style, Soft Spiral Black. And then... We ready? I think we're ready. Let's go! What do you think? I didn't miss anything this time there, Ollivander. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Feels good this time. It didn't feel right the first time. I'm glad you said something, Em. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match. Terribly indeed. selective? What is, and that sounds like a bad you thing, dude. And your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Alright, one down. Magic Neep, J. Pippin's Potions, and Tomes and Scrolls. Where are we going first? Let's go to Magic Need first, since it's the furthest. <laughs> Yo, look at the robe just fucking up. What the hell's happening with the robe? <laughs> Little jump fixes everything, right? <laughs> that thing just be flopping wherever it wants. Damn, what a jump. He's an athlete, this one. Well, hello there. What up, Timothy Teasdale? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to I didn't steal from Ollivander this time. <laughs> Grow everything I learned from my mistakes. <laughs> I'll go back. Even Pippin purchases oh from me. But... I was flustered. I was panicking because I didn't customize my wand to the fullest capability. Let me guess. You're after <laughs> something fresh. Okay. Um, what do we do here? We just buy gear and sell items? Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Yeah, this stuff is expensive. I mean, I don't see myself spending money on this if I can spend money on stuff like this to actually help me get better at the game. We'll see. No Free shite you. Keep a stack shelf. Give me that. I didn't say I wasn't going to steal from him, no. Ha <laughs> ha. See you, Timmy. Oh, dude. And the music is right, too. This is nice. Oh. 
Flame Flame! Rebellion. Who's this? Oh, uh oh. Give me that. Who broke the stairs? We can make it. We can. Oh, we can't even get up the stairs. Oh, come on. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, Sebastian. I'm stuck in Hogsmeade. You can't buy clothes from him. That was a selling tab. Oh. And you can always, uh, if you. You always want to sell what you don't wear. Okay. Uh, right now, I just want to get the f*** out of here. Oh, wait. I didn't even think about that. Can I repair this thing? Not at all. Oh, my God. I'm actually stuck. This, like, like what the hell? There we go. There we go. <laughs> I tried to do that so many times it wouldn't let me. All right. We'll come back to that. We gotta get that lock. Actually, you know what? This is this is J. Pippin's potions. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. What up, Perry? What else you got in here? What you working on here, dog? What you brewing? Is that Pelagius potion? What would a get like you need with Pelagius potion? Oh, what was that? What was that? Hey, yeah, give me that. Established in 1753. <laughs> and this is how Fred Chester died. <laughs> right? And thus wraps up the tale of old Fred Chester. <laughs> uh, anyway, J. Pippin's Posh. Established in 1753 as the apothecary in Hogsmeade, where proprietor, proprietor Perry Pippin sells off a wide variety of potions in their ray. <laughs> nice. All right, Perry, what do you got there for me? Hey, Maxie. How about a good over? <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Yo, oh, the last Vada Kedavra in the series, in the movies, is Lama. hilarious. Not that she deigns to come here. Though... I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, it is really. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected she if you were anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art, potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? I'm waiting for you to say something. What can I do for you today? All right, need the top two. A wise decision. All right, what else can you do? Focus potion. Or come back another time if you're in a rush spell today. Cooldown. I didn't know those are worse spell cooldowns. A uh, recipe for a powerful damage potion. Let's see. A uh, recipe for a potion that makes the drinker practically invisible. So not like fully invisible, just practically. Okay. Uh, increases the drinker's spell damage for the limited amount of time. Lacewing flies. You can buy them here. Horn club juice. Dug bog tongue. Ashwinder eggs, leaping toadstool caps, leech juice, spider fang, stench of the deer, mongrel fur, and troll bogies. Ew, gross. Focus posh, thunder brew, iterus posh, invisibility, wigan weld, wigan weld, maxima. A Nissan maxima potion. And then we got the sell items. We can sell stuff over here too. Okay, got it, got it. 
We're getting there. We don't open our eyes a whole lot, but we're learning. <laughs> I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Yep, see you, bud. Give me that. All right, last place we got to go. Yep, Tomes and Scrolls. Let's go. Let's go. And on our way. Are we going to pass Ollivanders? What was this? I need to get that level one lock first. It was like a lock pick or something? Yep, we passed Ollivanders. He's right behind us. Ollivander, I was just notified that I did not rob the store the first time. Or I did not rob the store again. Looks like it's already collected. Nice. I've stolen something from you, Ollivander. You will never know because it was in a different save. See you, will, dear friend. All right, there. Let me inside. Hey, what you up to, with baby girl? Hey, how you doing? You uh, what what year are you? Yeah, what school is that? I gotta get I gotta get familiar with this. Is that, was that is that Gryffindor? An inquiring mind. What's up, dude? What's up, Tome? Thomas Brown. What else we got over here? The book. Oh. Okay. So you just watched that happen. Didn't have anything to say about it. What is that? Rebellion. That's definitely a page outside. We'll get to it. Now, what in the world is going on up here? Oh, just some fingerless gloves. Nice. Give me that. Hey, give me that. All right, Thomas. Hello? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Give me that. Nothing like finding that? just that. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Oh, that's everything. Beast feeder, beast toy box. <laughs> Pick out your beast's favorite toys for them to play with. What? What's the point of that? Chopping station. Dung composter. <laughs> oh my goodness. Potting table. A large table. With a large pot. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And then we can sell pretty much anywhere we go. Cool. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. You got it. Rebellion. All right. Now we go back and talk to old buddy. Rebellion. 
like how everything shows up blue on the map. That's pretty cool. Like everything you can interact with. I do appreciate that detail. Alright, Sebastian. What you got for me? Walking in any surprises. Oh, dancing balloons. I'm so distracted. <laughs> Those aren't even balloons. It's cotton candy. <sighs> Ooh, wanna try? Oh, it smells so good in here. Oh my goodness. Yo, I wanna try one of those. Just put just toast it real quick. Yeah, that was so good. What about these? What do these taste like? Oh, so delicious. Two bites and that's it. Everybody knows the rules. Yo, I could spend so much money in here. I'm just gonna sample everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright there, Fred. Seem a bit enlightened. Cotton candy. It's a dragon! We wanna go to our... I'm out. It's a gumball globe. Hey, yo, what is happening with this thing? Oh! That's cool. Hmm. You know. <laughs> Yeah, that's so dope. Alright, Sebastian, what you got for me, man? I officially have all of my supplies. Officially? Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Well, that doesn't sound... Uh-oh. Oh, it's a damn troll! <laughs> what the hell? You got to fight a damn troll night one? What the hell? Draw it away from the building! Away from the building! Yo, this thing is quick! This thing's a lot smarter than the one from the movies. Jeez. Oh shit, there's more than one? Or is that just the same one? No, buddy. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. Oh, that's sick. I like that. A taste of his own medicine. Oh. Nicely done. Oh. Oh. I'm throwing everything in the town square at your ass. Oh. What else? What else? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, let me do that. Stupid one. That's right, lumbering lout. He's faltering. Few more hits to do the job. I want a stupid fight. I want a stupid fight. Oh, I missed it. Chris Circle. Come get me. Come get me. Come get me, bud. Oh shit, Sebastian! You don't do that to Sebastian, bud. You don't do that to Sebastian. Finish him off him. That boy. Vocation magic there, Freddy Chester. Hmm. 
<laughs> bang, bang, pow, pow. Trophy time. Troll with the punches. Survive the troll attack on Hogsmeade. Let's go. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Yes, ma'am, I, I did, so. Miss Rachel. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Arrow. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Hi, Rapero, where'd you at? Where'd you oh, at? Hello there. Rapero. A moment. I'll go and see what he wants. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Ooh, nice. Put you back in your place. Seems a bit he's broken this statue as well. I think that should do the trick. Repel. Can't tell what this is. Like a, like a hot dog stand. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Newspaper stand. Not even close. Kind of close. Almost. You eat newspaper, right? I do. And I'll read hot dogs. Oh, this is going to be one heavy ass repair. Of. Damn, Freddy Chester. Damn, Freddy Chester. Look at that doing the people's work. Night day one. Here I go. Repair. <laughs> Alright, there's one more. Where's it at? Is this it? Oh it is. Okay. Snack them up nicely for you. Yeah. Speak with the shopkeeper. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. I think I'll have a cup of tea. I'm a bit thirsty. Well, that's the biggest bong I think I've ever seen. Yo, hey, what up, Augustus? How you doing? What up, Doc? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. I'm just gonna take them. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. All right, which, what's the free one looking like? Just up the offense. I'll take it. Okay. I mean, why not put this on, right? Oh, what else we got? What else we got? The pinstripe robe. Go Yankees? Nah. Nah, get that out of here. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. <laughs> I do kind of like that. The color's pretty neat. 
Oh, dude. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy Chinese New Year. I don't feel like Freddy Chester is I'd much say of that a, looks as if it was made for you. a scarf person, so we're probably not going to be rocking any scarves this playthrough. All right, I think I'm good. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Yeah, might help me forget delicious. that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Welcome to the <laughs> All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Three broomsticks. Let's get some butter beer. Assuming it isn't. You know what? Hold on now. Wait, wait, what's the world map do? Uh, oh, okay then. I did, oh, oh my goodness. Hold up now. I didn't realize it was the way. Yo, I didn't realize this place was this big. Oh my goodness. Yo, this map is huge. Any areas we may recognize? Irondale. Feldcroft. Keenbridge. Brockborough. Lower Hogsfield. Come on. Aaron Shire. Hogwarts, obviously. Hogsmeade. Upper Hogsfield. And. Pit upon Ford. You might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. I already forgot what I was doing. Alright, can I change the color of this thing? that Slytherin robe just for now. Wait, do I have to be a certain... I have to have a trade applied to be able to use those? Okay. Well, never mind. Let's go get drunk on some butterbeer. Another troll. Cornelius Fudge. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere.
quickly. Let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Well, Thank that voice doesn't match. You be well. What's on up in here? Who wants to fight me? Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Oh. How timely. You slimy lot. Hey, she is short. Maybe Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. <laughs> Maxie, is that a man? I think that's what we're all trying to find out right now. Only want a quick word. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't hear me. I think they may have gone through a little bit of a change, if you know what I mean. I said, they underwent my some friend is busy. Magic. One would think J.K. Rowling magic. Whoa. One day. He said, looks like a girl. Who knows at this point? The it's 2024. The no one ever knows. To be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Uh, says you. You just gotta have it on a nice hot day. That's all it is. We had your back, Serona. Fortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Oh, don't tell me that. I don't want to head back to the castle. I was trying to hold on to this Hogsmeade as long as I could. All right, bud, you can go on and do whatever you want. I'm sticking at Hogsmeade. Talk to him outside the broomsticks. Okay. Say something to me. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. I told you Max. she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. I must return to the common room for the night. Access the map. Oh, we got a fast travel back over there. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I have to do it that way. Okay, whatever. I was trying to hit left and right. I gotta. I gotta stop doing that. All right. Fast travel to the common room. Let's go. The mouth of Slytherin. Back at it. Nice. Got in and out of he hogs meat in one piece somehow. At the level 6-2. Let's go. Hey, Dwig. Is that you? Well, hey. We need to charge our controller. We have started some Hogwarts, man. This game is fun so far. I'm enjoying what I've played so far. Three out of the 46 trophies. We got some hints on some of these trophies. Do we have any... Okay, so 30%. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Got some tracked trophies. Let's go. All right, well, hey. We made uh, some good progress on this first stream. But 
I think uh, I've received an owl post. Hold on. Open field guide or whatever. Let's read it. Let's read it. What's up, Professor Fig? Come see, I've discovered something in the locket uh, we found at Gringotts. Ooh, okay. So we gotta figure out what the locket has inside of it. But, as you can probably already tell, I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and wrap up. I gotta get some sleep. It's been a fun night, though. It's been a fun first night. I think that, uh... <laughs> Professor Weasley, as in Ron Weasley? Yes! Yo, this uh, I like the I like the tie-ins between the the movies and and the game so far. Not a whole lot, but hey, just enough to keep you interested, right? But this game's fun so far. I'm enjoying what I played so far. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap up for the night. I do appreciate everybody coming out tonight, just hanging out, talking some game, chatting up. But as always, don't forget to grab yourself a piece of cheese today. Wash it down with some water. Make sure you stay hydrated and. We'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> See ya! <laughs>